Okay, traders. Now, one of the key tools we use in our charts is stochastics, right? It measures momentum in the market and it's based off like real-time price action. So that's a great idea, right? Because like I've got Euro up here. We've got a trend going down. Now, what I'm talking about is say Euro is coming back to test the trend line. Now, at this point, wouldn't it be great to know if what momentum was doing, right? If it was surging, well, then you wouldn't be looking to sell below the trend line, right? At the same time, if momentum was stalling at this level, well, you'd be comfortable to put a sell order on and get back into that trend. And that's what Stochastics does for us. It's not the overriding trade uh, mechanism, but it is a great, uh, I'd call it a probability enhancer, right? So now let me just sort of show you how this works, okay? Because you, you, you can overuse it, you can over... Um, give it greater weighting than it needs to be. It's just a tool to measure momentum and confirms whether the trading opportunity is a good one or not. Now, if I just widen out my chart to like the, it's called the display best fit, right? Now, if I just pull back the data, okay, now just have a look at this trend line here, right? This is the same trend line. It's coming back up to test the trend line. Now at this level here, when it gets back to this level, I really want to make sure that momentum isn't going through the roof, right? You don't want to be sort of selling as momentum is surging. So what we're looking for is having a look down here directly below the price, below the market, what is happening with momentum, okay? If you see it topping out above, well, generally above 80 and below 20, these are our two key levels. So if it's above 80, right, that means momentum is getting to an exaggerated level or, and then when it turns, right, it starts to stall. And that means pretty much more sellers than buyers. And that should stall the market. And that's what you're sort of looking for. So when you get up to these levels and that trend line has been set at this level, you come over to the next point where it's testing the trend line again. You can have a look at your stochastics. And if you see momentum above 80, right, then, well, it could be a good indication that the market is about to stall. Now, one other key thing you can do to even use this a little bit better, right, and this is, goes into a lot of detail in the actual courses themselves, is when you're looking at this level and trying to work out, should you be selling here to get into the trend or wait for maybe the stop loss, little false break it on the top side? I would have a look at stochastics. Yeah, it's above 80. That's great. But you can take it a little step further when it breaks back down below 80, right, this level on, on, the, um, on stochastics, when it breaks down below 80, it means there's definitely more sellers than buyers and you can be very comfortable to get into the market at that level, right? If you're sitting in front of the screens, that's a great way to gauge when to get into the market, right? Now, this is quite often one of the trickiest parts, right? Because every time it gets close to these trend lines, usually the human instinct is, well, hang on a second, let's back off because you know what? This is probably going to break. And that's what people think all the time. But I'm telling you, over many, many years, the trend is your friend. Now, of course, there are always short-term breaks of the trend line, okay? But, but then usually the trend kicks back into gear. Your trade plan needs to cover the potential for a short-term break in the market, right? That's why we're trying to get into the market close to these trend lines so you can have a low-risk entry with probability going your way. If it's overbought then and you're waiting for it to come back down, this could be a great trigger for you to put that trade on in play, be confident, and then let the trade play out, okay? That's what Stochastics does for us. Now, I wouldn't be sort of looking at it, just, just for good measure. I would not be sort of looking at every time it's overbought or oversold, looking to go long or short. No, I use it in conjunction with trend lines, okay? And then that's when we can uh, really optimize the opportunity and the trading potential by just using a simple tool, stochastics, to tell us whether the market's stalling, surging, or pulling back. All right? So stick to that. Give it a try and uh, see how you go. Good luck.